Hi there. We know health insurance can be confusing. We're here to help you understand all those funny sounding terms and to cut through the confusion on costs and payments. Meet Sam. Sam's a member of one of our health plans. Each month, Sam sends us his premium, a set amount he pays to be on our plan. Sam is self-employed, but at his last job, his employer paid most of his premium. As a member of our health plan, Sam gets certain benefits. Benefits are the specific health care services a plan covers, whether they're doctor visits, tests, yearly physicals, surgeries, or anything else. Although Sam's plan covers these benefits, it doesn't mean he pays nothing for these services. We use the term out-of-pocket costs to describe the cost that Sam, rather than his health plan, pays. Sam's generally a healthy guy, and he loves playing with his dog, Spot. But one day at the park, ouch, Sam fell and hurt his leg. Sam needed surgery. His plan covered the surgery as one of his benefits, but he had to pay his portion. First, he had to pay his deductible. This is the set amount you need to pay for certain covered services, like surgeries and tests, before the plan starts helping you pay. You only have to reach your deductible one time every year. You don't have to pay for it each surgery, test, or service. The total cost of Sam's surgery was $10,000. His plan has a deductible of $1,000, so he paid the first $1,000 on his own. Then, for the remaining $9,000, Sam had to pay what's called a coinsurance. With a coinsurance, you pay a percent of the total cost. Sam's surgery had a coinsurance of 10%. This meant Sam paid an additional $900, or 10% of $9,000, and then his health plan paid the rest. And if Sam has another surgery this year, ouch, he doesn't have to pay the $1,000 deductible again, just his coinsurance. A week after his surgery, Sam went to see his doctor for a follow-up visit. For this visit, he only had to pay a copay. Many people confuse coinsurance and copay. They're very similar, but with a copay, you pay a set dollar amount for a healthcare benefit, rather than a percent of the total cost. On Sam's plan, he has a copay of $20 for each visit to his doctor. So when the doctor charged him $100 to check his leg, Sam paid $20 and his health plan paid the rest. The doctor gave Sam a clean bill of health. Spot was happy. For the rest of the year, Sam will still need to pay his premiums and might have copays or coinsurance if he sees the doctor again, buys medications, or needs medical equipment like crutches. But Sam also has the comfort of knowing he won't pay over a certain amount. His plan has an out-of-pocket maximum of $4,000. That means that once he's paid $4,000 in combined out-of-pocket costs this year, not counting his premiums, his health plan pays 100% of covered expenses for the rest of the year. He no longer has to pay co-pays or co-insurance, just his monthly premium. So, there you have it. Hopefully Sam's story has helped you understand your health plan a little better. Give us a call at the number on the back of your member ID card if you want to learn even more. Stay in the know with your health care costs and get a leg up. Uh, sorry Sam. On life's unexpected twists and turns.